Hi Stampers, this is Christy from ChristyCoramandel.com um, Looking forward to today, I've got a great project to share with you um, But first off, we're going to need um, some smoky slate cardstock and this piece measures 21 by 15 centimeters and we've scored it and I'm going to fold that in half and score that along there with my bone folder then I can set that aside for a moment now I've got a piece here of 14.2 by 9.8 centimeter piece of island indigo and I'm actually going to create my background using this this cardstock here so I've got my Versamarker ink and I am using two stamp sets. I'm using the Butterfly Blaze 6 and the Paplon Puri. So just with this one, I'm only using this butterfly image here just to give it a little, because I wanted a different size butterfly. And I'm going to be using this butterfly here um, to create our background. So with my Versamark ink, I'm just going to randomly stamp my butterfly image all over my cardstock. And then with my other butterfly, I'm just going to fill in the gaps. There we go, we can set that aside. Now I've got with me here a piece of scrap Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to use my embossing buddy to go over that. And I'm going to step this image here and one of these images here as well in Versamark ink. So I've got that mounted to my block already and using my Versamark ink Stamp one butterfly and then stamp the other butterfly. Set that aside. And I've got with me here some gold embossing powder. Sprinkle that, tap off the excess. And then with my heat tool, I'm going to mount that. Okay, now you can see what that looks like once I've heat embossed it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to punch it out. So I've got my elegant butterfly punch here going to line it up and through the window so I can see my image and then I've got my small butterfly to do my other one so you can see what they are we'll set those aside for the time being now I'm going to bring back my um, background paper that we already did and I've got some burlap ribbon here um, and this piece measures 13 centimeters and so what I want to do is I'm just going to lay this across the front here and I'm going to use some fast views to hold this down and I want a bit of hanging over the edge there and then I'm just going to wrap it around stick this down like that. Now with this bit here I'm just going to use my piercing tool and I'm just going to untake out the strands just to give it a bit of a, a rough finish.
so you can see what that looks like there. Now I've got my piece here of my Island Indigo Chevron ribbon. So what I've done is I've cut myself a piece of 20 centimeter sheet of ribbon and then down the center here I've then cut it into half so it looks like this. So I'm going to fold one half across the side here. So I'm just going to trim the ends, actually turn the chevrons around, I'll do it this way, just going to cut off against the chevron, and I'm going to stick that down with a glue dot. And then with my long bit here, I'm going to this pit I want to wrap around the side. So I'm just going to wrap that under here. So I'm just going to take that with some sticky tape. Just hold that in place. And I'm going to use some snail adhesive going up the top here to hold the rest of my ribbon down in place. And once again at the top, I'm just going to cut a bit off on an angle. Now you can see what that looks like. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to stick this down to our smoky slate card base and we're going to leave equal borders around all four edges. And stick that down. And then with our butterflies, so I've got my two whisper white ones and then I've gone ahead also and I've done an island indigo and a smoky slate small butterfly as well. So we're going to stick these down using glue dots onto our project. So we'll start with our large butterfly. We're going to stick this one overlapping the join along with my island indigo one overlapping that. I'll put my smoky slate and my whisper white and then you can obviously just pop up the wings to give it a bit of dimension as well on your butterfly. And there's our project for today. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more exclusive video tutorials, why not sign up for my stamp club? There's three video tutorials that you will receive every single month straight to your inbox. Um, click the link below to find out more. If you're not already on my mailing list, I suggest you sign up now. The link's below where you can sign up there. All people on my mailing list receive um, all my video tutorials first before anybody else does. So hop on over and I hope to see you again soon.